complaining. Complaining is very easy. You just complain. You just blame God for everything that is happening to you. And if you happen to be deconstructing from the Judeo-Christian faith, you just wake up and you just blame him. But uh, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, I got this email from Amazon. I bought five books, five, for my wife. My wife is dying, okay, uh, and whenever I see her waking up or taking a shower, she took a shower yesterday, uh, well, pretty much I, I am the one who bath her, okay? It's a shower, it's not a bath. It's, it's a shower, real shower. She sits on the chair. Uh, I see God. I see, whatever is good for my wife, I see God. We've got a doctor's appointment today at 10:15. Uh, I see God, okay? But when it comes to her enjoying life, which is very unlikely, and she's watching the Olympic Games right now. What we are watching them. Whenever I, I, I've got a chance to spend time with her, I will. Okay, I'm, I'm working, but I, I'll, I'll take time to spend a few minutes, a few minutes with her. Okay. So, but the thing is that I bought five books. I want to share with them with you. Check this out. Okay. So this is what I bought: a, a second chance at heaven by Tamara Tamara Lerex. That's the first one. That's the only one that doesn't come from Amazon warehouse. The second one is uh, Needless Casualties of War by John Paul Jackson. He passed away uh, like five or six years ago. Maybe more than that, maybe almost 10 years ago. Uh, the third one is going to be Holding On When You Want to Let Go by Sheila Walsh, Scottish uh, lady. The fourth one is going to be My Encounter with uh, Jesus at Heaven's Gate by Santosh Acharji. He, he, he used to be a Hindu man. Well, he's still a Hindu man, but uh, he used to be Buddhist. Buddhist? Buddhist? Yeah, Buddhist. 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 Uh, the fifth one is going to be Heaven. An unexpected journey by this Canadian wealthy man, Jim Woodford. Okay, so when I see these books, I just got a couple of emails, one yesterday, this one early this morning, from Amazon, we're sending, we're shipping you the books. I see God, I, I see the hand of God, okay? in my wife's life she's dying she's going to be around for three more months six more months nine more months but maybe a year like I'm taking care of her might be like 18 months or two more years with me that would be a blessing I see God I might be deconstructing I might be keeping my distance from God angry at God, okay, uh, complaining, when I read my Bible, I, I, always, I always have like a, a pessimistic point of view, okay, but when I see my wife not having a blast, because she's not having a blast, but enjoying her reading, she reads a lot, I do read a lot as well, we both. I see God in her, and I see God in the Word, that's the beach. Because when you are deconstructing, when you're falling away from Jesus, keeping your distance, derailing from the Word of God 
and something happens that that's gonna hold you that's gonna bring you back okay to your faith so whatever happens to me I see nothing but when I see my wife getting better enjoying one of those five books within the last Uh, 24 plus 6, 30. Within the last 30, 31 months, she, maybe she has read like 60 books, okay? Yeah, 60 books, at least two books, two books per, per month, maybe more than that, okay? Uh, and that's a good thing. Christian books. She's not a Christian, she just... Before her leg was amputated, she would come with me to church. We, Presbyterian Church. As I am, I'm a Roman Catholic, but I, we would attend a Presbyterian Church. I, the preaching was more uh, accurate to what I believe is the Word of God. So we, we would attend the, the first Presbyterian Church down in uh, Bayside, downtown Miami, on Biscayne Boulevard. But uh, ever since he, uh, her leg uh, was amputated, uh, December 2021, she's very, 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 she has been very ill, okay? I've been taking care of her for the, within the last 90 days, she's been admitted to the hospital twice, okay? Uh, believe me, that's a lot. That, the second last one was the worst one. Oof. She was away for seven, seven minutes. So I see God, I see God. Whenever my wife is having a good time, is, is enjoying the precarious life that she's got right now, I see God, okay? Whenever she eats, she, she, she just ate breakfast, I see God, I see God. When she laughs, I see God. When we talk for more than 10, 12, 15 minutes, I see God. Uh, she's been reading the, the Word of God lately. Well, she's from San Francisco, so she, she speaks Spanish, but it, she, her language is English, okay? So her Bible is in English, mine is in Spanish. I see God. When we pray together, I see God. If I come back to my faith in God, if, if I'm looking for a reason to come back to my relationship with the Lord, it's, it's, it's going to be because of my wife. It's because of her that I stopped, that I quit drinking beer. I used to drink beer two or three times a week, just not that much, two or three beers before dinner, nighttime. It was not that much, it was the frequency. It was way too much, two or three times a week. That's way too much. The most I would drink would be like four beers. That's nothing, that's like drinking water, okay? For most people, that's nothing. But to me, it was affecting me, it was affecting my life. Whenever you drink beer, you cannot read the, 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 the Bible. It is tough, okay? So whatever happens to my wife, and it's good, I see God. Whenever I pray, the first thing that I come up with when dealing with the Lord is send seven angels to take care of my wife. Seven. I, don't, I do not ask for one or two or three, five or six. Seven. We've been together 18 years this October, okay? So that, that's a long time. For most people, you get married, you divorce within the, mm, the next 24, 36 months. 18 years, it, 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 it's a lot, okay? I see God. And whenever she is feeling bad that I, today is uh, 
Tuesday, last Saturday, the day after the Paris 2024 opening ceremony on the Saturday on the 27th, she lost consciousness at the restroom and I was about to call 911 but then she came back, she lost consciousness, consciousness for 15, 16, 17 seconds. But she came back and I was, I didn't have to call 911. Just so you know, it's $250 every time you call 911, $250. At least here in the city of Miami Beach. And it's according to her uh, uh, health insurance. It depends, it depends. I see God. I see God. She loves, not that often, but whenever she loves, whenever she makes a joke, I see God. Whatever it comes to my life, I don't see God. There is nowhere to be found, okay? But uh, when I see my wife having a good time, I see God. There is a reason to come back to the Lord. It's gonna be because of her. It's because of her that I quit drinking beer. Beer, I wouldn't drink whiskey or tequila or gin or vodka or rum, no, no, just beer. And that was almost three years ago. Whew. That's a tough one. Quitting drinking, it's a, whew. That's a disease, it is a disease. But God is good. God is good. God was really good. God, God was God, God was good. He claimed. He said, "Only my dad is good." Luke eighteen eleven. When he deals with the young rich, how to pack? He asked him, "How can I earn eternal life?" And then you know what follows. So I see God. I see God when I see my wife having a little bit, just a little bit of life. God bless you. This is Miguel Salpich for it.